I'm Dr. Ryan DeBell from The Movement Fix. This is Movement Fix Monday. What I want to talk to you guys about today is how to develop strength and the coordination of having an active shoulder position in some sort of closed chain exercise, which could be like a push up or a handstand push up, which is kind of more where I'm going with this. Um, and so, what we will look at is the ability to work on elevating and upwardly rotating the shoulder blades as a drill so you can transfer it to a thing like a handstand. Now a lot of people are familiar with a exercise called a push up plus, which would basically be doing a push up and then working on the scapular motion like that in order to develop some musculature around the shoulder blade. Now that's really only in one plane, that's in the horizontal plane, but there's many other planes of motion that the arms and shoulders can go into. So we want to make sure that we do a drill where we work on the shoulder blade motion going up like in a handstand. And so what we're thinking about when we do this is I have my spine model and I have my shoulder model here. And if somebody were in a handstand, let's say, so they'd be somewhat like this, and then of course the shoulder blade would be more like this. I want that person to be able to like actively bring this kind of up towards their head and around like that. And so if we can simulate that as a drill to improve some strength, we can probably have some better close chain shoulder flexion activities. Um, a lot of people are very strong in shoulder blade depression from doing pull-ups and a lot of things that we do like that. So if we can work on a drill to do the opposite, that can be beneficial. So here's what this looks like. I'm going to go down into a, uh, I guess this is like a yoga downward dog, I think this is what it's called. But if I go into a position like this, and I think about bringing my shoulder blades together, and then pushing my shoulder blades down towards the ground, so that's me relaxed, that's me actively pressing into the ground. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my shoulder blade and I'm basically driving it like that to work on the active shoulder position, which again is strengthening those muscles we want around the shoulder blade. Now you can make this more and more sort of vertical by moving your hands back and going and pushing and pushing and you could make it more challenging by starting to wean yourself off of one hand. So I'd be here and then I would push and relax and push and relax. And that is a pretty challenging exercise. So you can make it easier or harder depending on how vertical your torso is. If you want to make it even more challenging, you can get yourself a bench and put your feet up onto it and scoot your hands closer. And then you can work on the relax, actively pushing in, relax, actively pushing. And then you can transfer and try to do it on one hand if you can. But that's extremely <laughs> challenging to do that. So those are some ways you can work on a closed chain version of that active shoulder position. An open chain version would be when you're thinking more about like barbell press or pressing with some sort of dumbbell where the hand is free to move versus closed chain, the hand is planted and it's not going to move. So again, try to get the shoulder blade to rotate and move up, strengthen the muscular to do that so you have a supported shoulder in those activities. And that's what I got for you guys for this week on Move It Fix Monday. If you're going to work on that, you're not going to be able to do a lot of reps if you haven't been working on it before. So you may want to just start with a couple of sets of five and progressively get stronger there. So if you don't already follow the Move It Fix on Facebook, make sure to facebook.com forward slash the Move It Fix. And you can also follow me on Instagram at the Move It Fix. I'll see you guys next week.